Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us for the What's New and Next with Citrix webinar. We are super excited to have you all with us here today. My name is Monica and I am a Senior Product Marketing Manager for Citrix DAS and Virtual Apps and Desktops. I am joined today by my colleagues John, who is a fellow product marketer on DAS and Virtual Apps and Desktops. Christian will be talking to us today about analytics and director. And then lastly, Rainer will be discussing secure private access and enterprise browser. We have a ton of great stuff to cover today, so let's get into it. Before we do, I do have an important legal disclaimer. This is what's new and next, so we will have forward-facing content in this webinar, and the release is up to Citrix's discretion, but I will say if content has made its way into this webinar, there's a pretty good chance it is releasing very soon. So I know it's been a while since we've all come together for a Citrix What's New and Next webinar. I do want to kick us off by saying that this webinar will encapsulate both on-premises and cloud and hybrid updates for the entirety of the Citrix portfolio. But we are covering a really wide breadth of content today, starting with bringing cloud innovations to on-premises and all that you can do for our on-premises folks. Also, we are discussing enabling zero trust web and SaaS app access through enterprise browser and secure private access. That'll be followed by new enhancements to streamline your users' experiences. And then finally, how you can improve your management and monitoring capabilities with Citrix Analytics and Citrix Director. At the very end, we will have a question and answer segment. So please, while we're speaking today, put your questions into chat. We will answer them as we can and hopefully get to them at the end. If we don't answer them all at the end, then I am also making a blog to come out in the coming weeks that does get to your questions and gives them answers. So with that, let's jump right into it. Kicking us off, I wanted to discuss how we are bringing cloud innovations to on-premises as a company. Earlier this year, we introduced the Destination Hybrid Initiative. This is really about meeting you, our customers, where you are in your cloud journey and truly enabling you to be on-premises in the cloud or a hybrid of both as the destination. With that, we introduced the Citrix Universal Subscription. So the Citrix Universal Subscription offers you hybrid rights forever. You can run your Citrix anywhere in your IT managed data centers that you've purchased on-prem, in a Citrix managed cloud service, or in a mix of both, maybe in your private cloud environments. But not only can you host your Citrix and run it anywhere, but you can deliver your apps and desktops from everywhere. Your public cloud of choice, your hybrid cloud infrastructure, and also those hyper-converged appliances. So again, this is hybrid rights for the length of your subscription, so you're not on a timeline to fully move to cloud. With that said, we needed to introduce more and more features to bring that feature parity between your Citrix cloud environments and your IT managed virtual apps and desktops environments. That's why we're really excited at the beginning of this year to have introduced Web Studio for on-premises CVAD. This studio console brings a streamlined management experience to your apps and desktops. So this is delivered through REST APIs to automate the management and provisioning of virtual apps and desktops ac across your cloud and on-premises resources. This is truly a great step in enhancing your hybrid cloud experience. If you have your apps and desktops in your on-premises data center and want to manage them but have this streamlined interface, Web Studio can do that for you within your IT managed CVAD. So you may be asking yourself, what does this look like? You can see here that I am in Studio on-premises and a core component here is Web Studio. 
So you can install that web management console directly on-prem and it will connect to this interface. So this looks and acts just like the studio console in Citrix Cloud. You can add policies, add admins, add hosting connections, and you can automate that migration to Citrix DAS if you so choose. So just really improving that administrative experience. We have also introduced Autoscale for IT Managed CVAD. So for those of you who aren't familiar, Autoscale introduces load-based scaling and schedule-based scaling to help you save on compute costs with optimizations and automation. So you can do that power management. You can also have dynamic provisioning to create and delete machines based on admin controls. And you can do vertical load balancing. But you might be asking, okay, I know what Autoscale is in the cloud, but why does it matter on-prem? So before using Autoscale and introducing it for your CVAD environments, admins had to provision resources for peak user capacity 24-7. So your environments had to be ready to take that burst or peak amount of users all of the time which can incur a high amount of cost when you have all of your machines running all of the time. This approach does ensure great user experience, but you incur those costs. Or if you don't have your machines running and there is a burst of your users that need access to their virtual resources, the user experience could suffer. But bringing Autoscale to on-premises helps manage those on-prem costs while also allowing for a great user experience. We do this, I want to call out specifically load-based scaling, which really sets Citrix Autoscale apart from the rest. And load-based scaling, you can put a buffer on based on capacity. So instead of having all of your workloads running all of the time, you can say, please scale based on load and you can set a buffer as you can see on the left so that there's a few more workloads running than what your users are leveraging so they always have a great experience when they access their virtual resources. And then on the bottom right showcases just how much you can save instead of on that top bar sitting at full capacity all the time with the orange line the actual capacity needed is the blue line on the bottom. So with auto scale, hitting that green line and having a buffer, you can save up to 73% in this scenario. So that's pretty powerful for both cloud and on-premises. Lastly, we are adding an elevated administrative experience to WEM on-premises as well. This is coming very, very soon to Tech Preview. We are doing the same with workspace environment management that we did with Web Studio for on-premises. It's really about bringing that streamlined experience to your on-prem environments. And this WIM console that's in the cloud but can be used on-premises optimizes resource utilization optimizes profile management, allows you to assign group policies, gain insights, configure scripted tasks, and more. So this is great news for users leveraging workspace environment management today and maybe want more of that streamlined experience. Overall, the point in bringing all of these innovations to your IT managed environments is to bridge that gap between on-premises and the cloud and to truly meet you where you are in your cloud journeys. So with that, I'm going to pass it over to Rainer. Thanks, Monica. A lot of great stuff on cloud and on-prem innovations on CVET and DES. I would love to hear more, but Citrix is more than just publishing apps. It has secure access to all your enterprise applications. Zero Trust Network Access, or Never Trust and Always Verify, is the framework that Citrix lives in. Let's look at the latest updates for web and SaaS app security. Secure remote access to virtual and non-virtual apps is important in a hybrid world. But what if compliance regulations hinder you from using a cloud-based solution? The answer is SP on-prem. SP on-prem and Citrix Enterprise Browser allows you secure direct web access into your data centers without a VPN. Benefit in reducing resource allocations by removing published browsers from your on-prem virtualization platform. 
SP on-prem leverages all your existing infrastructure like Netscaler Gateway and Storefront, so there is no need to buy additional hardware. Everything you need to do is three easy steps. First, publish your applications. Second, define your app security policies. And third, configure your Netscaler Gateway. That's it. Expand your Citrix Siva deployment with the Kio Private Access on-prem today. Get back some resources in your virtualization environment by removing published browsers and allow your employees to access web apps directly from their end device using Citrix Enterprise Browser with enhanced security controls like app protection, watermarking, copy paste restrictions, and more enabled. Now that you know uh, that Citrix Enterprise Browser can enforce different security controls per web app directly on the user's end device, but how is Citrix Enterprise Browser managed? Our global app configuration service allows complete browser management on managed and unmanaged Windows and Mac devices. In the sense of time, I have listed a few possible options, for example, Make Citrix Enterprise Browser your default work browser to access internal links directly without a VPN, or allow deny the use of developer tools, incognito mode, and save passwords, or allow deny browser extensions, or force a browser extension installation, publish bookmarks to users, and for security reasons, delete browsing data on exit. I encourage you all to test the Citrix Enterprise Browser today and see the advantages of a full managed web browser on managed and unmanaged devices. Application security is one piece when considering a zero trust approach, but it is more important to know which application users are allowed to access. Okay, what if you don't know all the apps? Application discovery monitors and reports the user's accessed applications without the need to change anything on the end user device. Administrators can then easily define new applications and policies and assign them to users or groups. After a short period of time, you can move from a less restricted remote access to a zero trust based access model. Application discovery brings a significant benefit in quickly finding blocked requests and allowing access for users. It also reduces operational costs by saving time in resolving help desk tickets. But what if you have to support managed and unmanaged devices? Device Posture Service is a cloud-based solution to help in establishing device trust before providing access to DAS and SPA resources. Different built-in scans, as well as third-party solutions like Microsoft Intune and CrowdStrike Falcon can be combined within a policy to check for compliance and assign a classification. This classification allows for contextual access and enabling security controls if necessary. Device posture service is a security mechanism that cannot be bypassed. I encourage you all to test the device posture service today to enhance your security and limit application access based on device classification. Now over to you, John, to discuss the improvements in end user experience. Thanks, Rainier. Well, there's just some really great security features and improvements. And while security is a top priority for us, the experience we provide our users is also really important. And with this, let me introduce you the new Workspace user interface. I'm really excited today to like dive into this and give you the latest updates and enhancements that we've, we have. Over the last few years, the team has worked tirelessly to provide a clean, fast, modern, and hassle-free user experience. We've continued innovating, improving, and streamlining the management and building integrations that elevate this experience. Today, I have really some really exciting news to share. We are revamping our cloud-based workspace user interface, transitioning it into an ultra-sleek user portal designed to declutter the interface. All of this is aimed at enhancing the utility and usability of the workspace. There are also numerous changes to improve functionality. First, we heard your pain points around first-time use and took steps to address them. We've eliminated the blank landing pages for first-time users. Also, when users launch Citrix Workspace app or access resources from a browser for the first time, they'll be presented with a screen containing a list of relevant apps. These apps can be set by the admin 
and users simply press a button to add them as favorites. We've also modernized the overall look and feel of the landing page. Now, the navigation has been moved to the top bar beneath the time-specific reading. On the home page, users will find three main tabs. The home tab with favorites and recently used apps, the apps tab with all apps listed alphabetically, and the desktop tab showcasing all available desktops. We also made the search feature more useful with significant improvements. We've introduced fuzzy search where the system tries to match search text with available resources. And we're looking forward to adding description search, metadata search, and search based on admin defined tags soon. Next up, we have the activity manager. This new feature lets users see all their running apps and desktop sections in a quick access menu. It really is. It's a simple drop down interface giving users the power to disconnect apps and log off desktop sessions. They can even do it from their mobile devices when they're on the go. And the best part about this workspace user interface is it's available today. So keep an eye out on your Citrix Cloud Console. Another enhancement to Citrix Workspace is the ability to use custom domains. And let me just kind of give you a little background on this. You know, in today's hybrid work environment, it's really important that you simplify and secure resource access for your users. This is a top priority for us. And one way to do this is by providing users with a simple and memorable domain. This is where the custom domain feature comes in. Your organization now can leverage a company branded domain name, promoting branding and trust, and also making access to Citrix workspace even more user friendly. And there's many advantages to this. First, it enhances discoverability by providing a unique, easy to remember domain to access all your resources. And second, it strengthens your organization's brand, creating a more trusted and cohesive workspace experience. The great thing about this is setting it all up is really easy and straightforward process. Just a few simple steps. And whether you're using Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, Android, or even accessing through a browser, your users will enjoy a personalized experience with a branded workspace. So for, for more information and detailed configuration guidelines, please check out our blog, video, and product documentation. So those of you who aren't aware, Windows 365 is, that, is an offering from Microsoft that delivers cloud PCs hosted in Azure. Now this offering has an emphasis on simplified deployment, management, and flat rate billing. So what we've done in Citrix is we have HDX Plus for Windows 65. And this builds on top of Windows 365 by adding our HDX protocol, giving you the best user experience, full IDP support for all of your enterprise authentication solutions. We support all of the devices and client OSs that we do today. And we also give you the ability to define access policies, Citrix access policies to be precisely, to secure all your intellectual property and provide a really a zero trust access. This is, this is important for all of our existing Citrix DAS standard for Azure, Advanced Plus, Premium, Premium Plus customers. This is an entitlement and you should be able to easily be able to roll in Cloud PC's workloads side by side with all your existing DAS deployments, whether you're delivering VDI desktops or applications. To get more information on this, I encourage you to go to now.citrix.com, Windows 365, where you could learn about all of these great capabilities. Now let's dive into some real HDX innovations that have come out recently. As we know, remote and hybrid work has become the norm. However, the transition hasn't been without its challenges. And as your users participate in various activities that require real-time synchronization and high-quality audio, network connectivity issues often become a challenge. High latency, packet loss, and other network congestion problems can negatively impact the audio experience. And this results in lag or poor audio quality or just an overall frustrating experience. EDT Lossy is our loss tolerant protocol that enables seamless audio delivery. It does this by tolerating latency and packet loss much better and without the need to, to resend multimedia content, a more fluid experience. This results in a more real-time experience for the user, something they're used to on a local environment, and it ensures that the audio and video remain synchronized, so easy communication. For remote workers who rely on real-time multimedia for their work, this is a game changer. 
providing a seamless and consistent user experience is a type pri priority to delivering the best experience in our hybrid and remote work environment. And, and this feature shows us Citrix is here to make that a reality, even under many challenging network conditions. To build upon that, HDX simulcasts. And this is really used for video conferencing tools with like Microsoft Teams. And it, anyway, we know video conferencing and Microsoft Teams have become a part of our daily routines. So we're excited to introduce a new feature that is aimed at enhancing user experience and making your virtual meetings more productive. Simulcast is designed to improve the video conferencing experience, especially in situations where we have low bandwidth connections or we're using an under spec client device. With Simulcast, each client sends out multiple video streams to the meeting server, each at a different resolution, 1080p, 720, whatever the client can handle. The meeting server then sends out appropriate video stream to each endpoint. This way, the slowest endpoint doesn't constrain the video resolution of all the other participants and devices. So let's consider a scenario where there's a meeting with one speaker and over 150 participants. Some might have devices that can only handle low video resolutions. Without simulcast, this would lead to the entire meeting receiving lower quality video. However, with simulcast, this is no longer an issue. This allows the majority of participants to enjoy a high definition experience, video experience, regardless of the limitations of a few endpoints they can't. And as remote work and virtual meetings continue to gain popularity and be a part of our everyday work life, this, is, this feature is gonna be essential for all your users. Another way to improve performance is through our integration with the AV1 codec. So graphic performance and bandwidth optimizations have always been a crucial focus for us at Citrix, providing the best user experience. In recent years, we've introduced new, numerous enhancements and cutting edge features to help improve that year over year. And the challenge is today we find ourselves moving towards even higher resolutions, multiple screens, upwards of 8K. And as part of our commitment to continue to optimize the HDX stack, we knew we had to include the AV1 codec support. Now, AV1 brings significant benefits. It provides a higher quality images at the same bandwidth utilization and delivers higher frame weights on even lower bandwidth compared to the older codecs that we used in the past. I encourage everyone today to read the blog where we have an in-depth view of all the performance improvements, all the bandwidth savings, and to try out the private preview of the AV1 codec integration, simply just use the QR code on the screen and you'll get all the information you need to be able to participate in the private preview. So I've got a, quite a few updates on HDX. These are some of these are smaller ones and I wanna just go over them very briefly. Um, users can now access Azure AD joint virtual desktops without the need for repeated logins, saving time and effort and enhancing the overall security. HCX Direct allows direct connections to your session host when direct communication is available. Like if the client already was able to directly re reach the VDA over TCP IP, it just simply establishes a secure direct connection. It leverages self-signed certificates and network level encryption to make it secure, and your users are gonna experience an improved performance and reduced latency. We now support TLS 1.3 for Mac and Linux, you know, several benefits of enhanced security. The TLS is the latest and most secure protocol and will also reduce handshake latency resulting in faster connections. We also have some news about changes to our audio quality with audio redirection. The increase in medium bandwidth limits is, limits is useful for applications where we're looking for a balance between quality and bandwidth efficiency, while the increase in the high bandwidth limits allows for even higher audio quality when that bandwidth is available. And we have the Microsoft Teams desktop sharing app when protection is, app protection is enabled. We're introducing this ability to be able to share full desktops and monitors, and it's really simple to use. Users click on the screen picker, and now they'll see an additional tab that shares the entire VDA in addition to individual apps, making collaboration even more efficient. So now it's off to you, Christian, to talk about how the admin interface and our analytics can help our, our admins today measure performance and security of our users.
Thank you, John. Yes, and with this, we have now arrived in improving management and monitoring section because it's not just all about increasing user experience and making it easier, faster, and better. It's also about monitoring and making sure the reliability of the services is given at any point in time from any location and any device. For this reason, we have had many conversations with customers, service providers, and Citrix technology professionals to understand what the troubleshooting experience needs to be like when a help desk individual is calling a support call, when an individual is looking at a support case. And this was then the reason for us to invent this new, as we call it, session network topology view that can be found in Citrix Director and Citrix Monitor. Currently, we are rolling this out in Citrix DAS Monitor, and uh, this will be available as part of the user details so when you review a session. The simplicity of this view is one of the things that is relevant to our customers when we collected feedback. At your fingertips, you have the machine name, the IP address, the connection route, as well as the delivery group and the published applications and desktops. Metrics such as the IC latency, along with the IC round trip time, and other very important metrics to understand where the bottleneck could exist, like network metrics of available bandwidth and uh, network statistics such as Wi-Fi strength are being presented in this screen. So and this makes it very easy to understand where potential risks like bottlenecks could exist or connectivity problems. At the same time, we also understood that application testing, so application and desktop probing feature is something that today many customers have not yet started to adopt because the feedback we have collected was that single sign-on, multi-factor authentication, but also one-time tokens are in use together with uh, storefront and Netscaler gateways on-premises. So more than 45% of our customers reported that this was a blocker for them. For this reason, we now have also enhanced the capabilities of our synthetic application and desktop probing, which now allows the use of single sign-on together with storefront, but also multi-factor authentication and TOTP tokens when logging on through Netscaler. So this is a feature that is available in DAS Premium as well as in CVET on-premises premium editions and allows to test synthetically and scheduled if an application is able to be launched. And if not, you will also be able, as we see it here in the screen on the bottom, to easily read where in the chain the connection has failed, which of the components was not working. This is something which we, as of today and before, already had, so the, the hop view. But we have now enhanced this view with additional details, such as which machine, which address, and IP address of the server in question was uh, the point in time where it failed. So application probes and the results are now even more detailed. And this then also ties into Citrix Analytics for Performance. Citrix Analytics for Performance, and that's one of the differences when we look at Director, is not just about real-time issues and incidents. It's about understanding where in all of my different delivery groups and different sites, be it on-prem and Citrix DAS sites, an anomaly has occurred. And when we interviewed customers and also managed service providers and Citrix operation teams, they all agreed that before a support ticket is raised, an anomaly most likely will occur. Session disconnects. If there is a new image that has been rolled out, and is now failing to accept sessions. If there is an ISP outage and sessions are failing, or if the Wi-Fi hotspot is no longer working as expected, this all will cause sessions to fail. And this is a deviation from the baseline for the individual environment in question. So we have not just added new baseline insights, such as the anomalous uh, number of session disconnects. We have also at the same time added alerts for all of the existing and new baseline insights. Those alerts allow you to send out emails, but using webhooks also to notify Teams using Slack or also Microsoft Teams Messenger, for example. And when it then comes to troubleshooting and looking close at what the potential root cause could be, we have now added session timeline view. 
session time learn view is an end-to-end -end view of the session in question end-to-end -end. so this means we are providing informations coming from the VDA side of things but also metrics that are collected from workspace app you will be able to see if there have been any other sessions that were not stable if this single user was reconnecting throughout the session length but you will also see metrics like for example the available bandwidth and the Wi-Fi strengths and with this the latency that was added on top and on bottom of the screenshot you will also notice you can zoom you can pan throughout the session timeline and what we also understood was that Citrix help desk teams are quite unlikely going to have a look at Citrix analytics for this purpose why we have added this as part of director in the session details with a button called session timeline view so also Citrix help desk teams using and operating Citrix DAS monitor as of today can with a click of a button see the same screen which is normally included in Citrix analytics for performance and when it then comes to improvements the question is always did we improve for the better or the worse how is my environment today compared to two weeks ago when we had an old master image an old operating system did we increase the user experience when moving from on-premises gateway to gateway service Citrix analytics for performance includes executive reporting so custom reports which are currently in public preview where we add more and more templates that allow you to easily visualize those metrics collected and give you insights for example week over week comparison of the user experience week over week comparison of the network latency experienced by users or other informations like what is the best possible ISP looking at latency I could have in a certain country or city and sometimes it's just changing and adopting a new ISP in a certain city and you get half the latency users experience and with this instantly increase the overall user experience when we look at analytics for security we have also added capabilities when we look at session recording events since quite a while now session recording events are being collected and presented inside analytics and analytics for security allows you then to add on top of these custom risk indicators so you are in the position as a customer to define what risk means to you this could be someone trying to connect to any other destination using RDP copy pasting files to an USB drive or also to let's say create local users and session recording does not need to record the whole session for this purpose we just collect the events from specified servers when specific users or specific applications are being launched and if a risk occurs we can dynamically start session recording using analytics if session recording is today not in place even though it's part of every DAS edition we also have added capabilities natively provided by VDA so also VDA will collect information such as clipboard activity and will provide those unique to Citrix insights like from what destination to which source like host to client or client to host was the operation what was the content so was it text was it image was it uh, HTML content and was the operation successful but also size of the clipboard so we can easily tell if excessive copy pasting let's say between paste bin and an business critical application is happening and this information is what we also share with other seam solutions seam solutions such as Microsoft Sentinel or Splunk Enterprise or Splunk Cloud for example so you are in the position to share this information also outside of Citrix teams with threat hunting teams security analysts or anyone that as of today uses uh, Splunk Sentinel Elasticsearch or any other Kafka driven solution and as we see here in the screenshot you can select single events like the mentioned VDA clipboard or also all of them and consume them at the same time in both of the solutions and yes we also have ready to consume dashboards inside of Sentinel and inside of Splunk so the other teams do not need to build those consoles from scratch and with this Monica back to you
Thank you so much, Christian. So as you can see, we have been very, very hard at work over the course of this year to bring you the latest innovations and capabilities across your Citrix environments. So we found it really important today to talk about not only virtual apps and desktops, but also secure private access, analytics, and more. But if you want even more information, which I'm sure you do, as this was just a quick teaser to everything that we have been distributing, you can head out to our product roadmap. So this is currently our cloud updates product roadmap at updates.cloud.com. We also have great POC guides, technical content, considerations, and more on Citrix Tech Zone. And then our source of truth continues to be citrix.com slash blogs. Get the latest breaking news and announcements from Citrix at our blog site. I also saw a ton of great questions coming into chat. We are going to have a Q&A blog coming soon.